Chapter 23 Then Adam cried more and said, O God, have mercy on me and do not take on yourself that which I will do. But God withdrew his word from Adam and Eve. Then Adam and Eve stood on their feet and Adam said to Eve, Strengthen yourself, and I also will strengthen myself. And she strengthened herself as Adam told her. Then Adam and Eve took stones and placed them in the shape of an altar, and they took leaves from the trees outside the garden, from which they wiped from the face of the rock the blood they had spilled. But that which had dropped on the sand they took together with the dust, with which it was mixed, and offered it on the altar as an offering to God. Then Adam and Eve stood under the altar and cried, praying to God, Forgive us our offense and our sin, and look at us with your eye of mercy. For when we were in the garden, our praises and our hymns went up before you without ceasing. But when we came into the strange land, pure praise was no longer ours, nor righteous prayer, nor understanding hearts, nor sweet thoughts, nor wise judgment, nor long discernment nor upright feelings, neither was our bright nature left within us, but our body is changed from the likeness in which it was at first when we were created. Yet now look at our blood which is offered on these stones, and accept it at our hands as if it were the praise we used to sing to you at first when we were in the garden. And Adam began to make more requests of God. Our Father, who are in heaven, be gracious unto us. O Lord, our God, hallowed be your name, and let the remembrance of you be glorified in heaven above and upon earth here below. Let your kingdom reign over us now and forever. The holy men of old said, Remit, and forgive unto all men whatsoever they have done unto me, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil thing, for yours is the kingdom and you shall reign in glory forever and forevermore. Amen. Author's Note Verse 4 and continuing to the end of the chapter contain and present ideas that are of an obviously Christian era. There would have been no men of old at the time of Adam and Eve. The text parallels the Lord's Prayer. This and other references to Christian symbols makes the dating of the text at about the 3rd century A.D. likely. Matthew 6.9 After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses.